Hello and welcome to Photoshop. This lesson is about vector drawing techniques and creating vector art. So let's go ahead and dive into this lesson and let's get this accomplished. So we're going to open the start file of lesson eight and we don't need these things. Look at how many points they're trying to use. The beautiful thing about vector graphics is you use the least amount of points in order to get that smooth graphic. I'll demonstrate in the other video uh, how a non, uh, a smooth graphic will look like if you use too many points. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Let's go ahead and zoom into the mug. Zoom in, perfect, there's my zoom in. And let's start, so starting, let's start doing our mug. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the pen tool. And now that we have the pen tool, you can automatically click add or delete either, uh, individual points. But I'm just going to go ahead and say shape. I'm going to do a path. We're not doing a shape. And we are going to be co uh, com a combined shape. So the first, I'm going, the first shape I'm going to do is the outside path. And so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna go on the path. As soon as you place the first point, a new path, uh, a new path layer will be created. So let's go ahead and start doing the new path. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I wanna change the path tool. I wanna to change the color. Right now it's blue. Blue on blue is not gonna be very nicely visible. So let's go ahead and do, let's do a green, or marquee path. There we go. Let's do a marquee path. So now when we're doing a line, we can see this color, right? So I just went over here and I changed the color of the path so people will be able to see what it is. So let's go ahead and start. I need a point right here. I need a point right here. I need a point right at this spot. The inflection point, another inflection point, and a point right there. Now close it up. Notice the, when I, when I join the points, the starting point and the last point, when I rejoin it, notice that little zero that appears right on the right side, lower right side of my tool. See that little degree? That means the points will be joined. There they are. So that doesn't look like my mug, does it? <laughs> so what we're going to do, it looks like a box. We're gonna use those handles now. Control, select the point that we're gonna be using. Notice I selected the point. Only one point is selected right here. I'm gonna use the, the Alt key to draw my points. There we go. Use the, use the Alt point, use the Alt to join my points right there. Look at that. We have to modify this one a little bit lower. And I'm trying to go right on the edge of the mug. Look at that, see that? That's what I'm trying to do. See that smooth line. That's why you'd use the least amount of points. Let's go ahead up in here and modify that. This goes on top. This line comes out this way. See the way the handle is going? That's the way I have the line going. And I just don't know how far I need to pull it out because these two points work in conjunction to give me this nice curve. So let's go ahead and do the same thing here. This is gonna be going to the side. This one is gonna be going down. So how much to the side is it gonna go? Let's see, let's drag this one out a little bit. Okay, that's a little too much, see that? So let me shrink that a little bit. I'm shrinking it and I'm making it smaller at the same time and moving it up down so the line would be right on it. Look at that. See that? Shrink this a little bit more. Oh, I just created a new point because I misclicked. I didn't click on the actual handle. There we go. How is that looking for a handle? Ah, uh, a little bit more on top. There we go. How's that for a handle? You guys see what I'm doing? Look at that nice smooth curve. Otherwise, if I put too many points, it wouldn't give you the smooth curve, right? 
and I'll demonstrate in another topic how that would play out. So let's go ahead and create the next curve. And these two points are working together to give me this curve. So let me go ahead and do what I need to do in order to, oh, perfect. Look at that nice curvature on the cop. Now we're gonna work with these two points, our final two points to create a curve. And this is the outside shape of our cup. See, that is all it took. Now that we have the curve, we are going to subtract from the shape. Are we trying to subtract? I think we're trying to subtract from the shape. So let's go ahead and try to subtract from the shape. All oh, actually combine shape. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and combine the shape. We better combine the shape and see what happens, right? Give me one sec. Let me see if it's going to allow me to edit and define brush, define pattern. Yeah, that's perfect. See, there's my shape. What's missing is the, the middle, the cutout of the handle. So I'm going to hit cancel. Let's go ahead and uh, we need three points, right? And the reason I know we need three points is I've done this exercise before. So there's one point, two point. And with these two points, we won't be able to get a really good shape. Let's go ahead and try. and We'll see that we'll need the third point, right? There it is. There that is. Notice I got the top handle pretty good. And let's see what we can do with the bottom handle. See that? I'm not able to get it right into there really nicely. So I need to add a new point. So look at that little plus. That little plus automatically gives me that it's going to add a point. There's my point. That's not where I want the point. So I hold down the control key and I drag the point where I want it to be. Right there. See that? And now I'm going to use the Alt key again to drag the handles to fill in that void. There we go. A little bit lower on this side. There we go. And there is my handle. See, we have to have three points. So now we have the working path. When we want to save the path, we got to give it a name. The name we're going to give it is Mug or Vlad's Mug. That's fine. Whatever name you want. You just have to give it a name because when you name it, look what it says. Save path. Go ahead and save it. Vlad's mug. Now let's go ahead and add it, add this mug to our overall design and how we're going to do that. Notice we can have custom shapes, right? But uh, I already added the mug, custom shape. Vlad's mug, which you just added. And there's Vlad mug too. Let's go ahead and delete Vlad mugs too. Restore default shape. Uh, let's go ahead and select this mug and See if we can delete it. Uh, we can't delete it at this moment for whatever reason. It's okay. Let's go ahead. We save the new shape. Let's go ahead and create. Uh, let's see. Why is it not letting us delete? We might have to actually restart Photoshop in order for it to allow us to delete. For whatever reason, it's not allowing me to delete these two shapes even though I really, really, really want to. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, import shapes, restore default shapes, new shapes group. I'm just gonna put old, old. Okay, so now this is an old group, which later on I'll delete. Right now it's not letting me to delete those shapes. So right now I'm gonna create a new shape. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm going to select Vlad's mug. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go edit and I'm going to 
define custom shape and and there is my mug. Wait a minute, I see a problem. Notice I don't see the cutout. Hit cancel. Let me see what happening here. I don't see the cutout. Let me select, oh, look, the cutout is missing. What happened to my cutout? Okay, there's log. Oh, okay, there's one cutout. Let's go ahead and undo this working path. Let's go ahead and select. Oh, I'm glad I noticed that. Look at that. So let's go back to the tool. Let's go ahead and create a selection. And let's go ahead and add to the working path. There's the working path. So we have, I'm glad this happened because this can happen to you too. So now, how are we gonna combine both of these working path to a single path? So I'm gonna select them both, right? And I'm gonna say copy, control C, or edit, copy. Now I'm gonna create a new path that is blank. And I'm gonna paste both of them in there. I'm gonna get rid of the working path and I'm going to get rid of the Vlad's path. And I'm going to rename this to Vlad new mug. There we go. So now let's see if when we make a selection, that's the selection we want. Did you notice that? We want the outside selected and the insides, the handle selected. Perfect. Deselect. Let's go ahead and edit and go ahead and define a custom shape. Let's go ahead and select the, the path and then go edit, define custom shape. Notice when you don't have the path selected, like right now nothing is selected. If you go to edit, define custom shape is grayed out. You cannot select it. So let's go ahead and select define custom path and this is Vlad's mug. So now when we go to custom shapes, let's go ahead and zoom out of that. Let's go back to layers, right? Let's go ahead and I want to just create a new layer, right? Let's go ahead and create a new layer here. Where are we going to have a new layer? Oh, that's fine. Let's create it right here. And this is uh, title and mugs. So here's the new title and mugs. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to import. Uh, I'm going to import some title that they want us to import. Let's see. Uh, file import. Where's my import export? Share gender. Where's my import and or place? Let's export. Uh, give me one second. Let me find out where um, they, how they want me to actually bring in the actual uh, title, key, the actual title to import an object. So they want me to go select the cop layer, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't really matter. Place link. That's what they want me to do. They want me to go ahead and they want me to place link. And they want me to select the lettering. There's the lettering. I'm just going to go ahead right here, make it large. How large do I want it? Well, I'm going to make it a little larger if, if that's okay. There we go. That's the size of my lettering. Perfect. So there's my lettering. And now I'm going to draw a mug. I'm gonna go ahead, select the custom shape. And I'm going to go ahead and look at the shape, Vlad's new mug. And I'm gonna draw it right in here. Actually, let me go ahead and create a new layer for that. 
and call it mug. And logo type, this is title. And let's go ahead and let me rename this to five mugs. Perfect. And let me go ahead and put this on top. There's the title, there's my mug. So here we go, I'm gonna draw the mug. Right, right in this area, I'm gonna draw the mug. So let's go ahead and draw the mug. Select the mug I'm gonna place. And I'm gonna draw the mug right here. How big of the mug you want? Well, let's see. There we go. I'm just playing this position. I kind of want to make it look good too. So there is my mug. Oh, I don't want it blue. I want a fill color to be red and stroke color to be none. Okay, so let's go ahead and make sure that our mug that we have, there's our mug, perfect. Let's go ahead and select We want it red, that's right, we want it red. So we change it to red with no stroke. Then the next thing we wanna do is we wanna give it some artistic style. So let's go ahead and zoom in on our mug and let's go ahead and give it some artistic style. And what I'm going to give them is, go back to shapes. I'm going to go ahead and select a different shape. And the shape that I'd really like to select is some kind of a boat, right? A little sailboat maybe. Sailboat number three might actually look good. Make sure we, there's the sailboat. Make sure we select, we're gonna have subtract from shape. Let's go ahead and select the mug. And let's go ahead and say, let's go ahead and try to put the boat on here. Uh, let's well, let's place the boat on there. Notice nothing happened. Let's go ahead and say subtract from shape. There we go. Notice how it punched out the mug, right? So now let's go ahead, commit that, and let's go ahead and select another shape, right? So I'm just waiting for Zoom to get away from uh, that menu that came up to go away so I can go ahead and select another shape. And I'm going to select a palm tree. That sounds good. Let's go ahead and create a palm tree. Like that. So now we have a mug with a couple of shapes selected inside of it. Nice. So I'm gonna rename this layer. Let me go ahead and rename this layer to, let's see what I wanted to call it. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Mug and tree. Okay, so I know exactly what it is. So now we're going to select this other layer which we just created, which is title. And what we're going to do is we're just gonna add a special effect. And the special effect, you can select any special effect you want, all right? Because once the menu comes up, 
we can unselect whatever special effect you selected first and go ahead and select any other effect you like. So in this particular case, we're going to select um, beveled embroider and color overlay. So we're going to go ahead and do color overlay, which is that same color we had, which is red. And we're also going to go ahead and do a bevel and braid in bros. So uh, let's go ahead and select some of the settings. How does that look? Does that look good? That looks okay. Click okay. So now look how this looks and look how flat this looks. So let's go ahead and select the mug layer. Let's take this effects we did. Let's not redo it. Let's go ahead and take the effects and move it down to this area. Copied it. I held down the alt key and I just copied the effects right down to the mug layer. I'm also going to go edit on the title. I'm going to go edit and I'm going to do a little free transform. The reason is I want it a little bit larger. I said a little larger. There we go. I just pushed it down a little bit. Perfect. Let's see how it looks when we zoom out. Let's take all of this and let's move it to the left, just like that. Now that looks good. Now I'm gonna take this little mug with all of its layers and I'm gonna copy this layer. I'm just gonna copy this layer one time downwards. Duplicate layer. Uh, where's my duplicate layer? Give me one sec, mug and tree. There we go. Duplicate layer. Do you guys see duplicate layer? Yeah, right there. Mug and tree. There we go. I just copied the layer one more time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it to the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and resize this. Edit, free transform. And I'm going to copy it a couple of times over. So copy one, two, three. Well, let me go ahead and select the layer I want. That's not the one. Where's the little layer I copied? There, that's the one I want to select. There we go. And I'm going to copy this mug. One, two, three, four, five times. I'm going to select all of the five times. I'm going to just put one on the other side, put one in the right here, put one right here. Oh, come here, come here, little mug. Right there, there's four. And one more time. Let's go ahead and do it five times. Notice I didn't really uh, position them correctly, all of them. I'm just going to go ahead and select them all, and I'm going to align them to the bottom. Let's align them to the bottom, and let's go ahead and distribute them evenly across. There they are. There is my one, two, three, four, five. Oh, for some reason, I had six months. That's okay. So we'll just go ahead and call this a new folder. My, my, um, my Photoshop is acting out. Although I'm clicking new folder, new folder is not appearing, which is okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and right click. Uh, and I'm gonna say, let's see, do we have a new folder? Da, da, da. Nope, we don't have a new folder. Okay, so right now we're just about done. I just wanted to make it pretty and put it into a new folder, but my Photoshop is acting out. Notice I can't even select uh, certain things, right? I, my folder is continuously being selected. I don't want to add a new layer. Inside handle, I really don't need that. I really don't need the outer cup. 
notice my folder to create a folder is continuously being pressed. I don't know why, what's going on. Something has gone awry. And the best way to do it is to save your work file, save as, give it a name, save to your computer. And this is Vlad's, we're just gonna call it Vlad's. Yes and okay. We saved it, let's go ahead and restart Photoshop real quick. Let me go ahead and open up Photoshop. It's loading right now. There we go. Let me do a screen share again. And I'll open up my finished work. There, see that folder? Now I can actually select these items on the bottom right here and I can actually select them and put them in a folder. For some reason, it wasn't giving me uh, that opportunity to put these items into this particular folder towards the bottom, right? So I had to basically save my work, close out Photoshop, and bring it back up again. Some of these type of things do happen on multiple computers. It's just part of working with such an advanced application. Anyway, my name is Vladimir. This has been the vector drawing techniques chapter eight guys try it at home attempt it submit your work on time for full credit and i will think i'll be posting some extra credit later on in regards to using and utilizing the pen tool thank you bye bye